Shalom, Shalom, Israel. The guy out here. Uh, I want to talk about. I want to talk about this mixed fabric stuff, man. So most people will tell you that you know the Bible tells you that you're not supposed to be wearing mixed fabrics. So we, you know, most people start, try to stay with mix, stay away from mixed fabrics. Okay, but is the is it is it is the Bible speaking about no mixing of any fabrics or only specific fabrics? Okay, let's just look into it real quick. All right. Okay, Leviticus nineteen and <clears throat> nineteen. Okay, ye shall keep my statutes. Thou shalt not let thy cattle gender with a diverse kind. Oh, what the hell happened? Okay, hold on. <laughs> cattle with a div with a diverse kind. Thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed. Neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee okay so um here in leviticus you can just might as well just throw this verse away when it comes to this topic this this argument or this debate whatever you want whatever you want to call it this topic the, the, leviticus 19 and 19 is out because it specifically is saying linen and wool Linen and wool. It says linen and wool. It doesn't say don't mix any type of fabrics. Okay, so that's out. So that's clearly out. All right. So what, the verse we need to look at is Deuteronomy. We need to look at Deuteronomy 22 and um, 9. That's what we need to look at. <clears throat> okay, Leviticus or Deuteronomy 22 and 9. Thou shalt, thou shalt not sow thy vineyard with diverse seeds lest the fruit of thy seed which thou hast shown the fruit uh, and the fruit of the vineyard be defiled fruit of thy seed herb fullness of seed okay um uh okay so it's talking about the seeds, you know, okay verse 22 or verse 10 Thou shalt not plow with an ox and an ass together. Okay Verse 11 thou shalt not wear a garment of diverse verse sorts as of woolen and linen together. Okay, so So here we got this. Okay Is this saying Okay, verse 11 does it is it is it saying don't wear garments of any diverse sorts and it just gives an example wool and linen is that what it's saying but why is it given that the same example as uh, um Levitic leviticus linen and wool why why would it if, if it's any fabrics it doesn't need to give examples don't wear a garment of any divert diverse source why would it not just stop there you know what I mean? Why would it list wool and linen? You know what I mean? Now, some people would say, um, well, that's the only two. Those are the only two fabrics back then that they really had was wool and linen. That's, you know, there were more fabrics, but you really only they don't really only dealt. The Israelites really only dealt with wool and linen for the most part. But it doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? And, the, you know, they might say you could, you could probably say, well, it says diverse source because, you know, this book is a book of prophecy. So it's going to speak and kind of give a blanket over things that are to come. You know, the most I know is there's going to be more fabrics invented in the future. So it could be saying diverse sources to kind of just blanket every type of fabric. You know what I'm saying? But to me, well, not to me, because I'm about to go into this, <laughs> this word. Um, it's it's only talking about wool and linen linen you know what i mean like when up here it talks about the seeds like these are two different fabrics that come from two different seeds like we talk about like polyester and all these other you know 
new fabrics they're they're are synthetic they're 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 you know they're not coming from a seed so i think the main thing here is the the seed mixing seeds you know what i'm saying okay so but but anyways let's just get to it um okay thou shalt not wear a garment of divert diverse sorts so let's look at this word sorts okay sha'at nas okay and what does it mean okay um lindsay lindsay wool wool woolsey cloth of linen and wool carded and spun together garment of diverse sorts linen and woolen okay that's what it's talking about and you know you, you do have to be careful with these definitions because they're going to give you you know the different meanings that this verse this this word can mean so it says mixed stuff m fabric of mixed weave but then it says look it says <laughs> Lin Lindsay and woolsey linen and wool uh, a kind of cloth forbidden for garments what what cloth was forbidden in garments wait a, clo a cloth made by weaving linen and wool together okay then you look at one a says a kind of cloth forbidden of garments what cloth was forbidden in garments leviticus 19 and uh uh, uh, uh 19. thou shalt keep my statutes thou shalt not let cattle gender with diverse kinds thou shalt not sow thy field with mingled seed neither shall a garment mingled of linen and woolen come upon thee that was the forbidden garment so when you look at this word, oh, where to go? Um, <clears throat> when you look at this word, sorts, it says forbidden, a cloth forbidden for garments. A little bit Leviticus nineteen, and Leviticus nineteen tells you it's 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 wool and linen, man. That's what it's talking about, man. So if you're wearing, uh, uh um, if you're wearing wool and uh. uh polyester you're wearing wool and polyester that's it doesn't say that you can't do that it's only talking about wool it's not saying mixed it's not saying don't wear just mixed fabrics it's telling you what the diverse source are it's wool and linen okay now look at this here so why why didn't most high not want us to do this okay <clears throat> okay so this is a study Joined by a, a, a Jewish doctor. I mean, we don't, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, even though he's a Jewish, he's synagogue of Satan. They still be telling truth on some stuff, okay? But this is this. These are studies that have been done by multi, a lot of different types of people. So this is legit, okay? Um, okay, it's, it's the study done on uh, frequencies on fabrics, okay? Okay, according to the study, the human body has a significant has a significant has a signature frequency of 100 the organic cotton is the same 100 all right oh come on the study showed that if the number is lower than 100 it puts a strain on the body a diseased a diseased nearly dead person has a frequency of about 15 and that is where polyester rayon and silk register okay non-organic cotton registers a, a signature frequency of about 70. however if the fabric is higher if the fabric is a higher frequency it gives energy to the body so these so you really want to be li wearing linen and cotton those are the two best you know uh, um fabrics to wear for sure um Okay, so it gives the body energy. This is where linen comes in as a super fabric. Its frequency is 5,000. Wool is also 5,000. But when mixed together, but when mixed together with linen, a frequencies, the frequencies cancel each other out and fall to zero. Okay? Even wearing wool, even wearing a wool sweater on top of of a linen outfit in a study collapsed the electrical field 
collapse the electrical field. The reason for this could be that the energy field of wool flows from left to right, while that of linen flows in the opposite direction from right to left. Okay, so that's really why the Most High, the Most High was doing that because he knew he he knew that these 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 fabrics give off frequencies and they actually do something to your body. He wants you to be at a higher vibration, a higher frequency. He wants you. I mean, he wants us to be at that higher frequency on all aspects, on all levels. We're speaking, keeping the commandments, living righteously, eating clean, treating each other with love and, and care, teaching the commandments, keeping the commandments, repenting, and then our our, our clothing. He wants us to even boost us up to that even higher frequency. Which, if you're wearing uh, um. Uh, 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 wool, wool or linen, the frequencies are 5,000. They're both 5,000. But what it would, but it would say, this is a known fact. So even if you don't, if you don't want to trust it, because this was a Jewish guy that wrote this, this is, this is real. Like, this has been proven. Okay. When you wear these two things together, they cancel each other out and they become zero. So that is a completely negative frequency. If you're wearing cotton and linen together, that is a whole, or excuse me, wool and, and linen together, that's a bad, very, very low frequency that that's doing to your body, okay? So the high frequency boosts up your body, your energy and boosts your body, okay? So the most high is, man, the most high is deep with that, man. You know what I mean? So what's this? Um, <clears throat> uh, hang on a second. Okay. So look at this, like money. <clears throat> money is made of 75% cotton and 25% linen. So that's that's uh, uh, not a good frequency right there. You know what I'm saying? Not a good frequency. So this is why the most high is is doing that, man. Like wants us to wear these high frequency clothing. And when you when you mix up the wool and the linen, it gives you that negative frequency, okay? Now, you know, you could say, you know, well, it said that linen or, or polyester, polyester and silk and all that register at about uh, 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 15, okay? So yeah, so you really pro probably for the better to stay away from that stuff. But at the same time, it's not against the law to wear a wool. What, did, what, did also, what does this also say? That even if you wear a linen coat, or what does it say? If you wear a wool sweater on top of a linen outfit, it still gives you that negative frequency, but the law doesn't say that you can't wear a, 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 a wool over linen or vice versa. It doesn't say that. It says don't mix the woven, don't wove it. Okay, so so you can't really say, well, if you're using using this study, well, see, we're not supposed to be wearing polyester and all this other stuff because it's that. But wait a minute, that means you can't wear linen on top of wool or wool on top of linen even if they're not sewed together but the law doesn't say that the law does not say that so to me look look if you believe that it's saying you can't wear any if, if that's if your interpretation is that it can you cannot wear any fabrics then just do that man do do that do what you you do what you feel that the scripture is telling you if you you truly believe it you know if you want to be on the safe side and just only wear 100% cotton, only wear 100% linen, 100% wool, that's fine, dude. Do that. That's the more power to you. That's that's great. But when I'm looking at this, these verses and I'm look, I go into the word for uh, uh, sorts. Where's it at? Um, sorts, and then it tells me it goes. It's, it tells me it's, it's talking about linen and wool. <laughs> Linen, linen and wool, linen and wool, linen and wool, forbidden garments, which is linen and wool, <laughs> cloth, 
cloth made by weaving linen and wool together. So, uh, you know, for me, look, it, it seems obvious to me that it's not talking about just any type of woven together fabrics. It's talking about li linen and wool. That's what it's talking about, okay? Um, yeah, so that's that's really it. That's really it. Um, if, uh, yeah, let me know your opinion in the comment section, though. If uh, you think I'm wrong, just uh, let me know what you think, man. Like, am I wrong? Am I off? Let me know. Okay? But, uh, yeah, that's it for this video, man. Just wanted to do a short little, uh, uh, little topic. Okay? But yeah, that's it, okay? So yeah, Shalom Israel, man. I'll see y'all in the next next video. Alright? Shalom.